G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of a Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And by request, today I'll be teaching you how to play Crawling by Linkin Park. For the basics of this song you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the 4th fret of your guitar. Now later in the video I'll teach you also how to play it without a capo, although that will involve some more bar chords. Now if you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Let's jump straight into the intro and we have two lines of chords here. For the first line of chords we have an A minor, an F, a C, and a G. And then for the second line of chords we have an F, G, A minor, and C. Now the intro is quite stripped back so we're just going to strum each chord once and hold that out for four beats. So in total, the intro will sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 And after that intro, we jump straight into a chorus. So the four chords of the chorus uh, a, now that's an A major, not an A minor. And then we have an F, C, and then a G. Now the strumming pattern I'm going to teach you can be played throughout pretty much the whole song. And it's really nice and easy. We just have a down, down, up, up, down, up. And you're going to play that once for each chord. So in total the chorus will sound like this with the strumming pattern. So after the chorus we get into the verse and the verse is pretty much the exact same four chord chord progression except we're replacing the A major for just an A minor and then F, C, G. We're going to use the same strumming pattern as well and in the verses you can just take back the intensity of the strumming pattern. It's the same strumming pattern but you can just play it lighter. So the verse will sound like this. Now for pre-chorus one, we just have a four chord chord progression that goes F, G, A minor, and C. And you're just going to play that chord progression twice, and that's it for the pre-chorus. So pre-chorus one will sound like this. Now pre-chorus 2 is almost identical except we're going to be playing the C chord, the last C chord, for an extra strumming pattern. So the second pre-chorus will sound like this. And that's all the rhythm that we need to learn for the song. Now if you don't have a capo, I'll show you how to play it without a capo, although it involves some more bar chords. Now in terms of timing and the strumming pattern, it's all exactly the same as the capo version I've taught you, so I'm not going to go into the details, I'll just show you the chords for the different sections. So the intro now goes C sharp minor, and then A, then E major, and B, and then A, B, then C sharp minor and E. And again, you're just strumming each of those chords once and not playing a strumming pattern. For the chorus without a capo, we're playing a C sharp major and then an A, E, and then B. And using the same strumming pattern. The 
the verse without a capo, you're just replacing that C sharp major with a C sharp minor. And then for the pre-choruses without a capo, we're playing an A, B, C sharp minor, and then E. So that's how you can play it without a capo. Now I'll show you how to play the lead riff. Now all the tab that I'm going to show you up here is relative to no capo. If you are playing with a capo though, then just ignore the fact that you had a capo on. If I say 14th fret up here in the tab, I mean 14th fret globally and not relative to the capo. But you can play it with a capo on because it won't affect any of the notes you're playing up here. All right, so the lead riff is quite easy. We're starting with the 14th fret of the second string, and then we're going to go up to the 19th fret of the first string with our pinky finger, and then you'll go down to the 16th fret of the first string with your middle finger, and then 14th fret of the first string, then with your ring finger, 17th fret of the second string, down to the 16th fret, and then back up to the 17th fret. And altogether that will sound like this. And you just repeat that over and over. Now if you are playing an acoustic guitar and you can't reach those high frets, then I will show you a way of playing it down an octave. To play this an octave lower, starting on the 6th fret of the 3rd string, then with your middle finger you'll go to the 7th fret of the 1st string, so you're skipping a string there, and then ring finger on the 9th fret of the 2nd string, down to 7th, then 9th of the 3rd string, down to 8th, and then back up to 9th of the 3rd string. And in total, and then repeat that. So now I'm going to be playing through the whole song in its entirety and I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to and see how you go.
Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you've enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell so that you don't miss out on my updates. Feel free to leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests below. It helps me a lot with planning on what lessons I'm going to do next. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.